Hello, Ellie. Do you have a little bit of time to talk with me right now? Hi, Judith. I can spare a little time right now, but only for around 15 minutes because I have other things to deal with today. Thank you. I think you may have already heard from Sid, but I sent you guys a fruit basket in the mail. I think they'll be to your house by tomorrow afternoon since I chose the fastest mailing option. It should come sometime in the morning, so can you please make sure to be home for that when it arrives so it doesn't sit on your guys' porch and spoil? Uh-huh. A fruit basket? I've never heard anything from him about that. Did he really not let you know that that is supposed to be arriving soon? Well, recently I received a lot of fresh fruit from one of the farmers near my house. Apples, pears, cherries, and so on. And since I'm only living here with my husband, the amount of fruit was way too much for the two of us to eat before it gets bad. And so I asked Sid if you and him would eat some of the fruit for us. I was thinking making and sending a basket of fruit to you guys would be a great way to pass some of my time as well and keep it all from going to waste here. And my husband said he'd take all of that fruit. Yep, he told me to send it all to him so you guys could take care of it. I assumed that he would tell you all about that, but... Sorry that he is so forgetful sometimes. No problem, he's always been that way around me. Well, I'll let him know that after this he has to start informing you about things that actually affect you. Oh, um, while I still have you, next month we are going to be having a barbecue with my oldest son and his wife. If you guys have the time, I'd love that you and Sid come out as well to join us. There will be that three-day weekend, right? And since the weather is supposed to be nice around then, we're pulling the grill out in the backyard and we'll be doing burgers and brats on it with all sorts of vegetables. We'll be fine without going. We like to have our time off to ourselves to relax and be home alone together. Ah, uh, I see. I can understand that reasoning. And after all, you guys have only just gotten married. So I'm sorry for asking you guys to come out when you're both probably very busy still with post-marriage things and cleaning up the house after moving in. No worries. You don't have to bother with either of us for right now. And I'm happy to hear that you are understanding of our situation. But if you guys do change your minds and want to come after all, let me know ahead of time. That way, we can have food for you both as well when you get here. Judith, are you close with your oldest son's wife? I am. Her and I both share similar hobbies and we go out together a lot. I'd say she's like the daughter I never had since I have spent most of my life surrounded by men. <laughs> Is that so? Huh. I'm sure that what I'm about to say will come off as a little rude, but I don't think I really want to be around my mother-in-law on my days off. Um, I'm sure that a lot of people don't want to spend all their time off with their in-laws. But when it comes to my oldest's wife, Cassie, she loves to be around us and enjoys the time we both spend together. And I'm sure that you are only thinking that because you feel as though she likes you. And until she tells you outright that she loves to be around you all the time, maybe you should just assume that it's actually a hassle for her. I know that it may not seem that way, but I'm sure she's just putting on a face so that you won't start to become upset with her. Oh, um, okay then. Thank you for telling me, and I'll make sure to think of both your feelings some more moving forward. Please do that. I'm glad you are so willing to understand our feelings, Judith. And so for the time being, how about you and I, and even you and Cassie, have a bit more of a distant relationship? I think that's the best way to make sure that this whole family is happy and not overwhelmed. Judith, this is Allie. I just heard from my husband. Next week, you guys are planning on going out to eat with your oldest and his wife, right? Good evening, Ellie. That's right. They seem to have gotten us all a reservation at a pretty expensive restaurant so that we can all have a little fine dining experience. And we had been talking about you and Sid also joining us, so I asked Sid how you both felt. 
Well, Judith, did you forget what I had told you a while back? Are you talking about how you told me that you don't really like to meet with me on your days off? So you did remember all of that. I was starting to think that maybe you were beginning to show signs of dementia or something. But this time it may sound like a poor reason to you, but your brother-in-law and Cassie were the ones that put this whole dinner together. My oldest and his father both have birthdays that are close together, so they wanted to celebrate it all at the dinner. And so we were thinking that maybe you guys would also like to come and celebrate with us. It'll be at a really nice Chinese restaurant in town, and I know how much Sid likes his spicy foods. I'm assuming it was you then that was totally fine with asking something like that of us, right? Not something that either of them told you to ask us about. Well, yes, but... Normally, you should be able to tell them that it's not happening when they bring it up, right? I think that they both were just wondering about Sid and I, and that was your moment to tell them it wouldn't happen. I believe that you may have gotten ahead of yourself a little here. I'm sure that even Cassie doesn't want you joining them. This time, I'd say let them both and your husband go out and maybe stay at home so that you don't cause Cassie any more problems. Uh, maybe you're right. I am right, Judith. For starters, making up some kind of event where you'd like us all to be there with you is a bit strange to me. I'd like it if you really began to understand what I meant when I asked for us all to be a bit more distant with you. I'm sorry about that, Allie. Well, I think I understand now that asking things like that from a thick-skulled woman like you is useless. I'll tell you straight. I do not want you asking me to go out with you when you already know it's not happening. Besides, things like emergencies within the family and whatnot, I do not want you talking to me. So when you have things you think you want to invite me to, think again and forget about me. That'll be the last time I tell you this without causing a fuss. Alright then. But I'm telling you that this was in no way me forcing you to come and join us. I just assume that by letting you know about the event and that you're more than welcome to come, you wouldn't feel as stressed out by me. And me letting Sid know about this was because he's my son, and I'd rather him tell you all about that than me. Is that your reason, then? Well, if that's what your reasoning really is, then all of this talk between you and I has been for nothing. After this, don't ever invite Sid nor I out with you guys. And another thing, you sending us anything through the mail is unnecessary. By doing that, you force us to have to call and thank you for the gifts. I understand your feelings very clearly now. I'm very sorry for getting you so worked up over things between you and I. From now on, I'll no longer invite you to anything, and I won't send anything else in the mail to you both. Please and thank you! Yeah, that is right. I only just got married to him, so stop trying to get me to join you all now because it's annoying for me. And I know for a fact that Cassie feels the same way about all of this. I'm sorry, but there is not a wife in this world that likes to be around her in-laws as much as you think they do. Take a good look at the real world for me, please. Judith, I have gotten your gifts to me from when you went overseas. Uh, hello, Allie. I know that you might have gotten some gifts from overseas, but they're not from me. I know that. These are all from my brother-in-law, right? Yes, that's right. But he told me that he doesn't need you telling him thanks or anything for all those treats. Seems that Sid asked him to get all of those things for you while he was out of the country. Uh, well, I'm not actually talking to you right now because of the sweets that were brought back for me. 
Is that so? What all did you want to talk about then? I want to talk with you about the vacation that was taken out of the country. You went with all of them together, right? Don't tell me that you're thinking that this is me trying to do anything by being close with them and taking time to go visit another country. Oh, I am. I'm very surprised by just how awful a person you really are. Uh-huh. I told you before to stop trying to talk to the rest of us, right? But you're just trying to make fun of me now by going out of your way to be with Cassie and them. Are you not embarrassed to be as bad of a person as you are? I wasn't trying to make fun of you or anything, though. Well, then why did you do nothing with Sid and I? Only taking them overseas without us is terrible of you. Wait, um... I'm sorry, Allie, but I have no clue what you just said to me. I thought you were upset with me over being around them again. But you're upset that I didn't do anything with you guys involved? I was just doing as you had told me when you asked that I never talk to you guys or invite you anymore. And I was just letting Cassie and my son know that I really wanted them to be along with country for a bit. So I talked to to your but Sid and I hear nothing. Are you trying to hear something? Fun with me makes me feel like go overseas. Uh huh. What's going on here? Well, one thousand dollars is like ten dollars. and ours. You are lying to me right now. Cassie, she told me that you guys brought them along with you like they didn't have to pay a dime. That might just be something that she forgot to tell you. Maybe she meant that because my husband and I did a lot of talking to get us around Europe. My husband is fluent in Italian, and I'm okay in French, so that came in handy quite a lot. And when we went over, we handled all the things like directions and ordering food. So to them, it felt like we were taking them both around for free. Um, so you guys didn't for a guide or anything to help. That's right. I mean, we go out to eat, we'd sometimes take the bill. And sometimes they would. But on this ship, we all paid for it equally. But they didn't have to worry about any sort of translator or guide. No, they really didn't have to pay for that last trip, did they? You allowing them to go without having to pay up is wrong. You haven't done anything for Sid or I, and are now asking them to pay to go out of your wall. Do you know how much it hurt me having to listen to Cassie all about the trip you guys took? Um, Allie, have forgotten all of the things you've been telling me before? You said you didn't need to be around the rest of us. Right? Well, when it comes to me, it's another story. Excuse me? I bet if your oldest and cat had a baby, and Sin and I had one at the same time, you'd hear more about their baby than you would have ours, right? I can see it right now that you wouldn't even bother giving our kid any presents for Christmas. Being very serious when I say that I'm not trying to treat any of you guys any different from one another, okay? But you have to understand, as the mom, I like to pay for some things for everyone to enjoy when going out, alright? However, you asked for me not to include you guys in our events, so I never wanted to tell you anything like that. My god, this really is you harassing me. I don't think this conversation is getting anywhere now. 
I'm even the younger and more attractive looking wife compared to Cassie. Yet you don't feel any drive to be more nice and caring to me. I only just got married to Sid and joined this family and I'm already starting to feel regrets about it. And I was trying to talk to you more and invite you to join us all the time. Well, if you feel sorry for the way you've made me feel, then you take Sid and I on a vacation overseas with you. All expenses paid. I really wanted to go to Europe as well. Well, if you both can amass $10,000 to pitch in for that kind of trip again, then we'd be glad to take you both along. Just think, my husband and I will also be paying that much. So the total for a trip like that is $20,000. Even though when you took Cassie and your oldest, you didn't have them pay. They did pay for that trip, just not for a lot of other stuff we did along the way. And we were the ones that invited them that time, so we weren't going to force them to pay for all the trip when it was my husband and I that wanted them with us. Judith, my husband, Sid hasn't come back home yet. I don't know anything about that. Why are you all acting like you don't care about me right now? I am the wife of your younger son, and I am asking you about him. But you had said that you were not enjoying having me as your mother-in-law anymore. I'm really worried about him right now. And also, I know that this has all happened because of you guys. This is our fault? It sure is. It's because of you becoming closer to your oldest and his wife that a fight broke out. Well, this is all different from what I've heard. What he told me is that he couldn't take your selfishness any longer and had to do something. You guys didn't have the money, yet you went beyond what he had said to you and reserved a trip to go to Europe, right? So you do know where Sid is right now. You have it all wrong. All he did was come over to my place after finishing work to apologize to us. So he's here with us. Why was he apologizing to you both? Because you started making a fuss of this whole family and caused unnecessary drama. What? I'm not just talking about how you said I was making fun of you, or when you started to say that I was harassing you. You started to talk a lot more with Cassie as well, right? You started saying that she was being a butt kisser for always being around me and a whole bunch of other horrible things about us. Well, that's because she was doing things that she shouldn't have been doing. What things wasn't she supposed to be doing, Allie? It's because she was getting too close to you and making you think that she liked you that you started to treat her to everything. So I was just warning her to never do anything like that again with you and to just leave you behind. And why do you think that she has to listen to what you say? I was just letting her know what I thought since her and I are both young wives in the family. Is that so? Well, if that's okay with you, then I'd like to tell you some things that I think as your mother-in-law. Allie, I no longer want anything to do with you, and I never will again. So stop trying to get my family all riled up like you have before, okay? You're the one that's causing all kinds of problems with the family. And you asking that I never talk to you again also means that I'll never be able to tell you about any emergencies, right? That right there is you harassing me and asking for me to be in trouble. You stop it with that bullcrap right now. Do you still not see that you've been causing loads of trouble for everyone else in the family? If you think this is me harassing you, then go ahead and keep thinking that. I already told my son how I feel about you as his wife, and he's come to agree with me. Never try to talk to me like this ever again. You're a jerk. So this is your way of getting a fresh new wife in the family to leave then. Fine. Then let me ask you this since you have done a piss poor job of explaining it to me thus far. What kind of relationship would you like to have with my family? I wanted you to feel like you were a part of this family, and that's why I was always asking you to come out and join us. But you told me that me doing that was a bother to you. I did say that, but... You warned me about becoming too close with my oldest and his wife. 
And you told me that if I'm to invite you guys on any vacations, I have to be the one to pay for it all. And you ended up saying hurtful things to both myself and to your sister-in-law. I don't think that you can start treating me like this when I'm a part of your family. You told me that you didn't see the rest of us as your family. And for a long time now, you never bothered to treat any of us like your family either. So was that all a lie, and you really do want us to be your family? I don't think of you as my family. But when it comes to how the world sees it, we are still family. Fine, then I'm going to tell you what I really think of all this. The only people that have to love you unconditionally are your own two parents. I'm at done here. I'm going to tell my parents about all this. And I'll make sure that you beg for forgiveness about taking so much time away from me. And you're going to regret every time you thought it was fun harassing me. I wonder about how that'll all turn out for you. Because what from Sid's told me, he says that you and him haven't been doing too well together as a couple. And since you didn't think of us as family, there is no problem with me ignoring you. Uh-huh. Well, if that's how it's been, then that's that. Goodbye forever, Ellie. Hold on a second, please. Is this all happening because of you? Don't tell me that my husband is going to divorce me or something now over this. I haven't told him to do anything like that. Whatever happens next between you two is for you and him to decide on. Well, you tell him that he needs to think a bit more about us before making any stupid decisions. You want me to say that to him? Tell him that I was acting the way I had been out of any sort of spite towards you, okay? I just thought that it was a good idea to tell you how I felt. Is that what you've been thinking? Well, at this point, whatever happens between the two of you has nothing to do with me. I... I don't want to get a divorce yet, though. Well, then you go and tell that to him instead of me, okay? But right now, him and I are in a fight with one another. I don't think that he'll be willing to listen to me now after the fights we've had. I think if it's something really important to you, then my son will be all ears for you. But I'm not sure that he'll change his mind after whatever you try and tell him. Judith, do something about this. Please. I'll make sure that from now on, I join all of you guys in your family events. And when I come, I won't make any complaints about anything. And I won't be rude to you anymore. And I'll make sure to stay on good terms with Cassie. I don't need you forcing yourself to act nice, so don't bother. Also, if you had the idea in your head that you were saying rude things to me, but still continued with it, why wouldn't I still be mad at you? I'm sorry, but you have gone too far recently. And because of that selfishness, things are falling apart between you and your husband. I think you're the only one that hasn't been getting a good look at the real world. After that, Sid and Ellie got together and talked about getting a divorce or not. But because of the amount of crying that Ellie came to him with, and the amount of times she apologized to him, the divorce didn't happen. However, even after forgiving her and letting her stay with him, Allie continued to complain about me and Cassie because I was still being nice to Cassie and not nice enough to her. I did my best to just ignore Allie from that point on and leave her with Sid watching over her. But she got to the point where every day she'd be messaging my oldest and his wife about me. And so after a whole year of that crap had gone on, my son had really had enough of her and divorced her without even giving her a chance to cry to him. When the talk of the divorce started to come back around, Allie's parents tried to get between them and help things out. But of course, they had some things to comment about regarding Allie, and she went off on them for sounding like they were on Sid's side. Fortunately, Allie's wish of never getting a divorce from Sid never came true and things ended between them, even after her parents tried to help. And at that point, her parents were agreeing with Sid on his reasons for the divorce. And so after getting her to sign the papers, they took her away by force so that Sid could have some peace of mind. Right now, she had shut herself into her parents' house, 
and ever since she went back there, we have never had to see her again. Her parents even seemed to be pretty disappointed in her for the way she acted around us, and told me over the phone that they never wanted any of this to happen to us. And as one last act of them showing that they were sorry for her, they sent us a few boxes of chocolates and a note, and that was our last time ever hearing about Allie and her family. I think some would say that had she been a bit more kind towards us, or at least changed after their close call with divorce that first time, she'd still be a part of the family. But even after that first time and she was allowed to stay with Sid, she never once came to my oldest and Cassie, or me, to say she was sorry for the way she acted. So I think we all knew in this family that things would never work out for her. And to be honest, I do not regret having her leave this family whatsoever. I think this was all due to the problems she has with her heart and mind, and nothing to do with Sid or the rest of us. Actually, because of what had happened, I have become even closer with Cassie, since we both shared the same experience of being hurt by Allie. I do feel really bad for Sid that he lost his wife after everything, but right now this whole story is so much fun to laugh at. I know that not all women like to be around their in-laws all the time when they join the family, and so that's why I didn't try and force her to be a part of our events. But Allie got upset because I was doing the exact thing she had asked me to do. I was tired of holding back, and that's why I put down my shield and attacked her. I don't think anyone should have become so close to someone that only focuses on themselves and no one else. So I'll make the point that I was not trying to harass her very clear by becoming even more kind with Cassie whenever she's with me, as well as to both my boys. And if the time comes that Sid does find another woman to get married to, I'll do the same thing as I did with everyone else and ask her to be around the family without forcing her to be.